everybody, my name is Alyssa, and for this assignment, I chose to research a small restaurant in Cunningsville, Vermont. I've been going to this restaurant since I can remember, and it always intrigued me. The owners have always been exceptionally nice to my family and all of the other customers, and I wondered if peace was kept all the time. This restaurant is a fan favorite with quirky decorations and very small staff. I'd spoken with the owners and set up a time for me to go. I didn't know how they would feel having an observer, and as an observer myself, I felt slightly awkward. I wondered if they would act differently because I was there, and what they thought of a random college student silently watching their every move. I thought to myself that the atmosphere couldn't be that friendly all of the time, and was ready to see what the real restaurant was. For identity purposes, I will be using false names, and the restaurant will be called The Humble Hen. As soon as I walked in, I was instantly hit with a plethora of rooster paraphernalia. Everywhere I looked, I saw rooster paintings, sculptures, statues, wall art, and so much more. Over my time at the restaurant, I counted over 100 rooster items. The restaurant itself is very small, with eight tables, mostly four and two tops. I sat myself down at the bar for the first hour. The owners, Annie and Craig, a married couple, who are also the waitress and bartender, immediately greeted me and got me some of their famous maple cinnamon cornbread. A small yellow plate with a single piece of cornbread was given to me as I looked over the menu and the specials. After a long deliberation, I decided to order the turkey BLT with a fried egg on top. As I awaited my food, I watched my surroundings. Almost every time a customer came in, they were greeted by name and sat immediately. Cornbread, water, and the specials board was immediately brought to their table, followed by a smile and a hi, you guys, welcome to the hen. People slowly trickled in and took their place at the bar or a table. In her free time, I interviewed Annie, the owner and sole waitress, on how this cozy, friendly restaurant came to be. We moved here from Long Island. We absolutely love it. It is everything we wanted and more, said the waitress, talking about her move to Vermont with her husband. They love New York, but could not resist the natural beauty of Vermont. We've been open for four years. Before this, we worked at different restaurants around the area. Sam's, Harry's, 99, you name it. But we ended up wanting something of our own. And that's how the humble hen came to be. And we are so glad we found our haven. When asking about life outside the restaurant, the topic quickly changed to the owner's dogs. All ten of them. When I'm not here with my doggies, I have nine Shih Tzus and a Bull Mastiff, she said, while showing me numerous pictures of her dogs. Besides the restaurant, they are my livelihood. All the customers love hearing about our pups and are asking about them constantly. Sometimes I think they're more invested than I am, Annie said as she was pulled away by a customer. Service at the Humble Head runs like clockwork. When a customer enters, they are greeted with a smile, sat at a table, given water, menus, the specials board, and cornbread. Orders are taken and sent to the kitchen while the guests enjoy some dessert before dinner. Annie has her customer service persona down pat. You can almost always count on her saying, there are two sides to every board when the specials board is brought over. Or, when the bell rings to signify food is ready, you'll most definitely hear, who is it? She is always cheerful and ready to do anything asked of her. During the time I was there, I never heard her say no to any customer's request, no matter how ridiculous. For my next hour, I moved into the kitchen, a very small space with all silver appliances. As soon as I walked in, I was basically face to face with the oven. To my right was the grill and fry later. In front of that was a counter where dishes were put together. To my left was a salad station, the dishwasher, and a big sink that was almost full of dishes. I met the head chef, a tall, skinny young man with long black hair named Jack. I was surprised to see the chef so young and skinny. As the saying goes, never trust a skinny chef. I then met the line cook, Rob, a man in his mid-thirties with regular build and a humble hen hat. Lastly, I met the dishwasher, a high school student named Carl. As I stood in the back and watched dinner service commence, I was shocked at how calm everyone in the kitchen was. I had heard that most kitchen staff could be rude, vulgar, and quite aggressive. This was the complete opposite. Soft rock played in the background as Jack and Rob smoothly put together the dishes. I create new specials every week, said Jack. I think of food combinations as people. What would this specific ingredient mesh well with? 
All food is special and I work tirelessly to make sure I am creating new, exciting dishes. The main entree that day was Chef's famous pickled chicken. Chicken breast breaded with dill seasoning, served on a bed of fresh french fries and a side of their house-made ranch. I overheard one couple say they drove 45 minutes because they saw that this chicken was the main entree tonight. The rest of my time was spent watching Creative Genius. The way that Jack thinks about and executes his dishes are amazing. There was not one complaint from the customers, just continual praise. Unlike most chefs, Jack tries to make time to go out and talk to the customers about their dish. He likes to check in and make sure everyone is happy. It is important to me that the customers know who is cooking their food. I want to make sure that everything is perfect for them. This is my passion and I want them to feel that when they are experiencing my food. Overall, I learned a lot about this small community. It is extremely apparent that these people are doing what they love. From the warm greeting of Annie, the jokes between the staff, and the attention to customers' happiness, it is no surprise that this restaurant has 5 out of 5 stars. The most surprising aspect of my observation was the kitchen staff. I was most nervous about observing them from previous bias. It was enlightening how peaceful and open their workspace was. Promoting a calm work environment changes the attitude of the staff completely, and that is most definitely seen. This staff knows how to have fun while still working as hard as they could. Before this assignment, I was reluctant to seek out employment in this field. Now I can confidently say that I would be more than open. The humble hen proves that food is truly a way to bring people together in a fun, open way. Thank you so much for watching.